Hey guys, welcome back or welcome to my channel. Today I'm here with part 2 of my July monthly review. If you haven't watched part 1 yet, you should totally do that. And then you should come back to this video. Or you could watch this part first. It doesn't really matter. Anyways, there's a B-side section in this video because this month for B-sides was just really something else. I added so many B-sides to my playlist. It's literally insane. Now with all that said, I'm actually really excited to edit this. I hope you enjoy, and let's get into the video. Wow! Y'all how did we go from hot to this? Just kidding. I'm not complaining. I didn't know if I was going to like this song after I watched the highlight melody. I was actually getting kinda nervous because I always like 17's title tracks. So y'all truly don't know how scared I was. I was safe though because World is such a good song. Like I love it so much. It's just a happy song. They just look so happy in the video. And I'm just so happy listening to it. 17 did not come to play. They didn't disappoint. But when do they ever? And also, I just wanted to throw this out there. This is so June's era. At the party Johnny, trash. At the party Johnny, trash. As for Cheers, I also love that song. People were complaining per usual about the auto-tune. But I don't mind it. I feel like it adds to the song. It just wouldn't sound good without it. Same with Hot. People were complaining about all the auto-tune in the song. And honestly, I didn't even notice it at first until people started pointing it out to me. But still, it wouldn't sound good without it. Anyways, Cheers as a song slayed the house down and so did the choreography. A lot of people thought we were getting girl crush Stacy, including me, because in that little video they posted on Stacy's channel, when they were talking about Stacy's next album, they made it seem like we were getting girl crush. And honestly y'all, I was here for it, I was ready for it, because girl crush is definitely one of my favorite concepts in K-pop. Girl crush never disappoints me, and then they dropped beautiful monster. I heard the teaser and to be real, I was a little sad to hear that it wasn't Girl Crush, but I still had hope because it's Stacy, and they never miss with their title tracks at least. Now how do I feel about Beautiful Monster? It's not bad. It's definitely not my favorite Stacy title track. Actually it might be my least favorite Stacy title track. I'm putting it on my playlist though to see if it will grow on me. Update. It grew on me, but I still wouldn't rank it higher than any other Stacy title track. The type of concept that Eileen One has is not the type of concept that I usually like. The music that comes from this type of concept is never usually my thing. So I was surprised when I liked Love in Bloom. Love in Bloom is just that song. This song though, K Sarah Sarah, I cannot get down with it. It's kinda giving me old G friend vibes. That's disappointing because I really wanted to get into this group for Ririka. I'll hope for the best with their next comeback. Falling down all night. This song isn't what I expected. The song is called Rain Day, and Tael and Kun are both in the song, so it's already giving ballad. But as soon as I saw Yang Yang's name, I already knew that it wasn't going to be a ballad. The song is way more upbeat than I thought it was going to be though. But honestly, it's still not my type of song. I can't see myself listening to this. I don't know how to feel about this song right now. It's not bad. It's just something that I didn't love at first listen, but I know it will grow on me like the rest of their title tracks did. The only title track by them that I loved at first listen was Scared. So I'm not even surprised that I'm not obsessed with this song. Update. The song did grow on me, but I don't think this song is going to last more than a month on my playlist. It's a little repetitive, and I feel like I'll get annoyed with it quickly. Dinnery Heroes did not come to play. I already knew that I was going to like this whole album ever since I listened to the instrumental sampler. The vocals are insane. The visuals are insane. Per usual. And the rapping is insane. I'm so happy that we could hear them rap on this album. And I know some of the members wrote some lyrics to the song. Which just makes my whole listening experience even better. But can we just talk about the concept? The being inside a video game concept. It's so cool. And I feel like it suits them and the type of music they make so well. 
I'm calling it right now. Zdinary Heroes is going to be a group with a flawless discography. Not nearly flawless. Flawless. I'm talking no bad songs. And I'm here for it. After this comeback, I'm officially making them my alts and adding Gaon and Gunal to my alt bias list. I love me a good chorus that is so in your face. You can't miss it. But this one just isn't hitting. Dare I say it's a little annoying to listen to. And this song was definitely exhausting for me to listen to. It's not giving I'm not cool. It's not giving flower shower. Those songs were catchy. And fun to listen to. This song is catchy. But in a bad way. Like you would definitely get sick and tired of listening to this song so fast. Huna I'm sorry. But this is a miss. It just isn't piquing my interest. Now this is the purple kiss I know and love. Y'all better not ever think about dropping something like Memem ever again. It's not as hyped as Ponzona and it's not as upbeat as Zombie. It's just perfect. This song kinda reminds me of Pretty Psycho. And I just think this style of music suits all of their voices so well. And the rap. Yuki. You never miss ever. Like I'm obsessed with it. And their concept. And them. Am I on the verge of standing purple kiss? I think so. Know what to do with these Monster X is out here dropping two releases in one month and they're both bangers. Here's another good song to add to my playlist. I can always rely on Monster X to bring me good music. Every single release and comeback they've been dropping lately has been good. Like ever since they've dropped Fantasia, they haven't had one bad song. Guys, it's giving B-side. Nothing stands out to me at all. It's very noisy. You know, my type of music, but it's not catchy. I'm pretty sure I already said something like this about another song in this video. Sorry about that. My vocabulary is very small. The song is not for me. Don't be surprised if I'm suddenly standing this group in a year. After saying their debut was giving B-side. Don't be surprised for real. I might stand by my words though if I do end up standing this group. I can't see this song growing on me. They're a boy group though. I'm a boy group stan. Things happen. Y'all, the tears just started flowing not even midway through the music video because my boys, they're gone. My whole bias lineup went poof. Like it's so hard to listen to the song. But um anyways, time for the review I guess. The song isn't giving me what it needs to give. It's giving bad news by Tempest. And if y'all are in my Discord server, y'all already know. Not that I wanted to be that vocal, but I've been very loud about my feelings for bad news and how much I don't like it. By force of course, this song sounds exactly like it, and it's just not giving. Dare I say I miss Dark T01, like I just don't really like songs like this. I don't know if you can call this a refreshing concept, it's more like a playful concept, but I just never find myself liking music from this type of concept. Not T01 messing up their flawless discography with this album though. Usually I would say something like I'll hope for the best next comeback. But honestly, will I even tune in? T01 is dropping down on my alt list quickly. This song not hitting was kinda my final straw. As I'm editing this video, this song isn't out yet but there's already full performances of the song on YouTube. So I've already heard it and all I have to say is that this is definitely their noisiest song to date. Like it's so loud. There's so much going on. Very chaotic. But it is in fact my type of music. And when they officially release the song, I will be adding it to my playlist. Update. It's good. It's really good. Not that long ago. I was saying I haven't saw 80s in ages. It's like they fell off the face of the earth. And then they dropped this out of absolutely nowhere. Slate if you ask me. So I wasn't planning on talking about them because all of the songs they have dropped, they're all pre-debut tracks. But here we are. What do I think about the songs? Attention slaps. Like attention is a banger. Hype boy. Not so much. I know they have another song, but I don't remember what it's called. I heard it, and it didn't really hit. So I'm not even going to talk about those songs. Let's focus on attention. I don't know what it sounds like. I don't know what style of music they're going for. But it's a really refreshing song. Refreshing as in something that you don't hear often. Not that it's a refreshing concept. Don't get me wrong. 
I love loud and noisy music, obviously. Look at the last song I just reviewed, but sometimes it's nice to listen to a more relaxed song. Wow! <laughs> Y'all, ain't no way I forgot to include my man KB. Guys, I just noticed I didn't add him in while I was midway into editing the B-side section of this video. But I was not trying to go back and edit all of the B-sides again. But it would be very disrespectful of me not to include KB. I'm not doing myself like that. I'm not doing KB like that. I'm not doing Yujin like that. And I'm not doing only one of as a whole like that. Y'all I'm not going out like that. So here's the Be Free review. Sorry KB, I didn't mean to forget you for real. Wow! The bar was already set super high because of Yujung. Begin was straight heat. And KB also did not disappoint. But honestly, I'm not surprised. KB literally has one of my favorite voices in K-pop. Like anything this man sings, it sounds good. Even if the song is bad, when he starts singing, it will always sound good. Be Free isn't a bad song though. The song almost sounds kind of retro. And y'all know I'm so over retro concepts. Retro sounding songs. But y'all, I think I have to make an exception for this masterpiece. I think I like it just as much as I like Begin. Bop after bop with only one of. I'm so excited for all of the solos to come ahead. And also, all of the group music. Stan only one of y'all. Why are y'all sleeping on them? Very disrespectful of you. Wow! Okay guys, that's it. I'm done. I literally put my all into editing these monthly review videos. They always take so long. And leave me exhausted by the end of it. But also relieved that I got it done. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know what your favorite comeback was this month. And also let me know who you guys want to see for my August monthly review. Don't forget to join my Discord. Link in the pinned comment. And thanks for watching. I love you. Bye bye.